What's up, world? Welcome back to Radical Investors, where we talk about stocks, crypto, NFTs, and all the ways how to get to the money. I'm Masu. I'm Ahmed. And today we're talking about desktop metal and their new printer. It's a game changer, y'all. Let's. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. You guys know that we are huge, huge fans of desktop metal, That's guys. Right. This is one of the stocks that is in our long portfolio. They just dropped their new printer. That's an absolute game changer. We're gonna put a video in right now to give you guys a little bit of an idea of what they're actually doing. Then we're gonna give you our commentary on the back end of that video. Let's go. Moonshot. Why do we reach for the stars? For desktop metal, the production system has been our shot. A project so ambitious, so groundbreaking, that solves so many problems for manufacturing and the world. With breakthrough metal 3D printing at speed so unheard of that some people thought it wasn't possible. Now, after nearly $100 million in R&D, it's here. The most anticipated 3D printer of all time. Introducing the Desktop Metal Production System P50. This is the moment when decades of promise about additive manufacturing finally become reality. High throughput 3D printing, end use parts that hold up to the highest standards at prices that compete with traditional manufacturing. With the power to de-risk supply chains, compress time to market, lower costs, and streamline inventory to produce once impossible designs across virtually every industry. Designs that enable explosive advances that can take us to the moon and beyond. What's your moonshot? You see? Yeah, man. Finally, finally being shipped the P50. Do, doing big things. The P50. This is uh, their land, their their flagship yeah. printer. Um, the one that's going to change everything. And what one thing that I love about this uh, finally getting shipped is people will now start to see in um, what they can actually build with these things, right? So it's that's no right. longer just on paper, theoretical. Now companies can get in it. Um, do do test models say hey we can now offshoot some of our manufacturing needs to these 3d printers and that's where you're gonna start to see um, some of the games for the company yeah exactly and these first shipments are gonna be going out to black and Decker and I mean this is a company that I mean they have a lot of different tools that they offer in the marketplace and what they're gonna be able to use this printer for I'm sure it's gonna help them as a company it's good to see that it's an established company like Black & Decker as opposed to um, some random company yeah. that we might not be aware of and think it's like Fugazi, but no, this is the real thing, dude. And this is gonna be exciting just to see over the course of this year, just how um, Black & Decker performs and just how the feedback is from actual customers of the receivers of this P50. It's been it's been a while because you know they they did make a hundred million dollar bet I will not bet investment on this project so it's good to finally see this as desktop metal stockholders here yeah man and you know we're rooting for these guys the market has been very very tough to, to this tough, company yes. yeah. and if you're not um, invested yet it's obviously a great time not financial advice to, but to pick up. Uh, some more stock in this company. We've been dollar cost averaging yeah, in yeah. And, and getting our dollar cost, a our, our average as low as possible. Um, but, you know, we're seeing with the disruption in shipping and global uncertainty that having on site manufacturing capabilities is becoming more and more important all the way around, right? So you see in um, right now, there's a huge thing going on in Russia where they are have been basically cut off, um, yeah. rightfully so, because, you know, we support Ukraine around here. But the, it, it's been so uh, they've been cut off yeah. from from basically the global economy where right. they can't bring things in or out. If they had adaptive manufacturing companies where they can print they can their materials yeah. on demand, right, without necessarily having to ship things in and out from other places in the world that they would be a lot better off. So this is gonna be very, very important to future-proof uh, countries. Absolutely. It's gonna be very, very important for uh, different companies yeah. within countries to, to actually utilize. Exactly, to future-proof industries. I mean, we're seeing <clears throat> tankers coming out of China and the price of shipment has gone up like 
5,000 percent like yes. ridiculous numbers to the point where this probably 18 months from now is going to leave a lot of uh, companies in certain industries bankrupt yeah. so it, this thing is a rare like local manufacturing and uh, additive manufacturing is very crucial it might not seem like that or people are kind of just delaying that but we're, we're gonna as we consistently see more and more of these global conflicts take place whether war or whether disease whether whatever right these things are gonna show that a company like desktop metal is extremely important and again what's awesome too is that this we do believe you guys are still early on this completely early. completely early like years really because what tends to happen and just I, we would suggest go back look at a chart of amazon and just look at how they did from 2001 to 2008 like literally it was the same price, the same price. didn't pop off uh jeff bezos was not one of the top 100 richest people before on the, planet, the steroids he was right? still skinny he was still skinny so it yeah. like you know same thing with tesla tesla just got hot yeah. two years ago and that's because of the narrative so right. we are super early to this narrative exactly we think is important because we follow politics we follow yes. geo yes. political movements we see what's coming down the pipe so we are super ahead yeah. of this narrative. And guys, this is where you make all the money. Yeah. Right? So so you're early on a narrative. And you continue you're, to you're, dollar cost average in. You're you're alive during a, a, a really market correction where we've right. seen um a lot of the tech companies, this one in particular, take a 90% haircut. Yeah. yeah. Right? The the street, Wall Street absolutely absolutely has no idea how to read this particular company right. and the company itself ran by aces right so this isn't yeah. a fugazi company these right. companies are ran by mit graduates yc alumni very 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 smart people and they just didn't take the time to they didn't blow all their um ip uh money on parties and, yeah, and marketing, they, they they're their, quietly accumulating, accumulating all of their competition. And at this point, they are literally the, the biggest uh, 3D printing company um, in the world. Yeah. And it's it's there's almost no competition in the space. So. Yeah, there's, there's really no competition. It's just kind of um, the market, right? right? Just very grossly undervaluing, not caring about a, a technology that's going to be changing the world. And, you know, yeah. Yes, guys. Yeah. Well, that's where we make the money. And as always, we'll be bringing you alpha information, uh, stock plays, and commentary on this channel. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Yeah. And as always, happy hunting. Catch you on the next one. Peace. Peace.